butyric acid has a really, really foul smell. If you've ever poked your nose into a tub of rancid butter, you'll know what I'm talking about. It makes smelly socks seem absolutely delightful. But here's the thing. Butyric acid is also cranked out by bacteria as they feed on fiber in our digestive tract. And here, butyric acid is welcome because it plays a role in modulating the immune system. Butyric acid is absorbed from the gut into the bloodstream, and it boosts the production of T cells. And these are immune cells that help fight off foreign invaders. And uh, butyric acid also helps reduce inflammation in the gut, which is a good thing. So increasing the types of bacteria, the so-called good bacteria in our gut that crank out butyric acid is a good thing. Eating lots of fiber, essentially fruits, vegetables, whole grains, works because these are the foods that, that those bacteria like to digest. But of course, uh, researchers always like to kind of refine their recommendations. So the question is, are there specific dietary components that are especially good at boosting the multiplication of these so-called good bacteria? Well, a couple of recent studies suggest that eating peanuts and spicy foods can have a beneficial effect on our microbiota, that is, the bacterial composition of our gut. How does one know if the effect is there? I mean, how do we study what the effects are of something that we eat on our gut bacteria? It's not the most inviting type of research. The way to know what is going on in the gut is to examine what comes out of the gut. Yeah, you have to analyze the bacterial composition of poop. That is just what the researchers did with the peanuts and the spices. It turns out that subjects who ate about 28 grams of dry, roasted, unsalted peanuts every day for six weeks had an increased number of butyric acid-producing bacteria in their poop when compared with participants who snacked on cheese and crackers that had a similar calorie count. Rumino coxase, if you want to be on familiar terms with these good bacteria. The same sort of enrichment was observed when a couple of teaspoons of a mix of cinnamon, oregano, ginger, black pepper, and cayenne pepper were blended into the diet for four weeks. All of this is very interesting, but neither study examined any effect on health. Any conclusion other than that snacking on peanuts is probably better than snacking on potato chips, and that some gut bacteria enjoy spices as much as your taste buds, any other conclusion is unwarranted. Some company, though, will undoubtedly now start marketing spicy peanuts. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.